Hi, I'm Luciana Luli Brasil, and today I'm going to tell you if you can buy a house or a property in Brazil and how you can do it. Okay, so let's start. What documents you need? Yes, you can buy a property, but there is rules and uh, what you can buy and what you cannot buy. I in the day. Talking doesn't stop here just because I said, yes, you can, but it's not everything. So, what documents do you have to have if you are going to buy a property in Brazil? So, I made a, move, uh, a video about that subject a long ago. I was still living in Brazil. Then... Um, some people asked me, why are you saying that? Well, I said, if you, are, if you went to Brazil, you are going to marry someone and you, you decide to buy a property. First, you buy the property, then you get married. And someone said, ah, so does it mean the women are not honest? No, I didn't say that. I said, if you are going to get married with someone, it can be a man, it can be a woman. So, if you, because as everybody knows, if you have a property and you get married, that person also has right with the property. So, if you have a fight and you divorce, you will have to share the property. So that's why I said that. It's everywhere like that. I'm in Canada and I know that. So that's why I said that. Okay, but there is also what's the rule of, I don't know, the regime, and we say regime, uh, the according, what the accordance you made when you got married. Did you say the property, let me see, let's see if in English, because I don't know the word in English. It's like, if when you get married, everything that was hers is yours and or was his is yours or shared or not shared and that, that's what I'm talking about. So marriage regime I don't know if the right words to use, but that's what I'm talking about. Marriage regimen. When you got married, what was the agreement in the 
judge or in the notary office that you made if you get married all merge everything get together so property union or partial what is partial whatever you started doing from now ahead is shared or separate separate what means everything if it's your name or in the woman's name is separate is yours and hers but you have a kid and the kid inherit from both you understand so that's how it works so um, if the kid is yours of course if you register like you got married with a person a woman or a man who had a kid and you decide to 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 make an acknowledgement of paternity I don't know if there is a maternity but anyways you want to say I like so much that the child that I'm going to put in my name to the child can have a father or a mother doesn't matter if you want if you want you got married and you want to put as your kid too I don't I don't don't tell you to do that but it's up to you why I say don't tell you because if you divorce you won't divorce from that child, you understand? So you don't need to do that. You don't need and shouldn't do to do that. Anyways, unless you are with that person a long time, like 20 years married. I don't know what for you are going to do that, but you can do. Anyways, so there is that thing that let me put separate. So in the marriage, you can make a union of, of everything you have together. Even if you inherit, the person will be, have the right to get. Partial, you have when you got married. So you both will have rights. We, if you get divorced, you will have to share after the things that you got after marriage and the separation of goods or assets okay so when you buy a house you need or house or property or land you need as a Brazilian ID CPF something that prove where you live let me put the translation and the proof of address the proof of marital status that is what i told you about if you marry if you are married if you if both of uh if you are married you need the document of your wife too so because the property depending on the property you are, you bought but anyways you need it doesn't matter the status of your marriage you need to know the, the judge you need to know that you are married or not and uh, if you are single you need the birth certificate from Brazil. In your case, you need. I don't know if it, it, I don't think you will need the birth certificate of a foreigner, but instead of RG, you will need a registry of a foreigner. That is. Um,
So you can have that the registry of foreigner R and E that uh, you can stay that you uh, you have when you are going to stay in Brazil when you are going to live in Brazil, okay? And when do you can you naturalize as Brazilian? You can naturalize as na naturalized Brazilian when you stay four years in Brazil. That's here. Decide the naturalization. And why you do, do that? Because it, when you get the naturalization, you have the rights and the obligations of a Brazilian, including to vote. If you say, I can, I don't want to vote. If you get the naturalization, means you can write, you can read, so you, are, you have the obligation to, to vote. Is mandatory. If you don't vote, you have to to pay uh, fees all the time you don't go to the to the election. That's the part. The part. There is three kinds of naturalization. There's the the ordinary, the extraordinary, and the provisory. The ordinary is the natural, the common one. And why the site is only in... It's not only in Portuguese. I thought it was only in Portuguese. Because it doesn't matter you translate. You will need to know Portuguese when you try to naturalize so the naturalization you the ordinary you have civil capacity what is civil capacity when you can think with your brain when there is nothing that say you are not when you live the four years in Brazil when you all those items you live you have you are not uh, out of your mind. <laughs> you lived in Brazil at least four years, not less. You can talk Portuguese and they read Portuguese, and you don't have any condemnation out of Brazil. You have to show that you don't have anything against you in the country you came from. So that's the ordinary way to get naturalization in Brazil. So it says the process. How is the process? First, you go to the, you get the formulary, the form. You fill up the form. They send it to the federal police. That will make a biometry that is your fingers. And they will get all the fingers. Then. The Ministry of Justice will give a, will get the documentation from the federal police. They will analyze. The, after that, they will put in the in a publication of a, a journal, a newspaper called, but it can be in the internet. Uh, Diary, official diary of union. Then, if after that uh, publication, they will give not they will give or not give. Indeferment means when you were not given. And you can you can complain ten days. During ten days, you have the chance to complain. In this situation, you have to get a lawyer. If they gave you the authorization, that's good. You got it. That's it. Let's go to the in the experiment. When they said no, you go to 
record recurso, they will analyze their record, their complaint, and they will public, make it public in the news. Of the notif they will give a notification of uh, how it was in the diary again, and that's it. Can I complain again and again and again? Well, it's up to you if you want to do that. Check a list of documents you need. So, uh, is it obligatory or not? It's facultative means it's not obligatory, it's not mandatory, and the obligatory means mandatory. So, documents. And the translation of the documents to Portuguese is you don't need. If you want, you can do it, but you don't need. Uh, that the registry that I told you about of uh, foreigner, the the R. R E M or R N E. If it is old, you you will still have to give the CPF. That is a document that you have to make in Brazil. Even if you are foreigner, you need to make. If you are living in Brazil for three years, you need that document. CPF that you make in the federal. Police. Criminal antecedents that you, from those four years you stayed in Brazil, to know if you made a criminal record, you can get for free. It's not paid. A state, the criminal, the, the criminal from a state. And also the criminal from the country you came and translated by a um, certified translator. So from your country, you have to bring that criminal record from your country. Um, in case you had the crimes, they need a uh, proof that you rehabilitated and uh, is is clean to stay in Brazil. Because if you are in Brazil, it's because you got granted something to go. Um, the residence to prove where you live, the, you always have to make it, a, when you are a foreigner, you need to keep it, a, if you move, you have to give the government, where did you move? And the document of traveling document, even if it is outdate, like it's not a, is it expired, like the passport, and document indicating the capacity to communicate in Portuguese. I don't know how you, there might be a test to Let me see. How to get the proficient document of Portuguese language? 
like uh, we have a TOEFL, we might have I didn't know there was that the provisions document. That's a good day. <laughs> so there is a test self that is a self brush to get the, that the and go. If you know to speak Portuguese, you will be, will be able to read that. And there is the paper, the, the book. Also good, that book. Okay. They were supposed to have a book showing how to make the test, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, you know the site and the uh, how to and the, to subscribe to get the, the test. Let me get out of here. So you know how to naturalize. Oh, there is another. You have the marriage certificate if you did get married. If you need a reduction of work, because if you got married with a Brazilian, you can reduce, reduce the time you need to naturalize. I don't know how long they don't say here. But you have to prove you got married with the person. Uh, document from the Council of Brazil proving, showing the correct writing of your name, so that is not mandatory. Uh, can be mandatory. So you need that so the people will know how to write your name. Because you don't need, you cannot make mistakes with create a new name. What else? What else? I said that there was more than the extraordinary, extraordinary uh, naturalization. The extraordinary naturalization uh, you need 
to be okay on your brain. Be 15 years old, 15 years in living Brazil. Not to be condemned by condemned criminal and criminal records. I'll be fulfill the documents sent to the federal police. The justice, the federal police will send to Ministry of Justice. Will verify your documents, analyze and publish in the diary. Union diary official, official diary. If it was accepted, they will, you will receive the document. If not, they will send it. Will be another 10 days to complain. You have a, a chance to complain. If you spend those 10 days, that's it. And uh, like the other one, but let's go to provisory natural provisory naturalization. I don't know why someone will get the provisory naturalization. A child or teenager who got to Brazil for the time of ten years living in Brazil, so it's a provisory, like their parents, they, they want the kid to have that, but when the kid grow up, they will have to decide. So it's the same thing, same way to do. They will check if the kid made crimes, etc., etc. There is a translator that the name depending how how is how is it adapt your name because some countries has the way to write names different like Korea India that they write they have that written different that the letter different different of uh, Brazil letters okay let's go back to definitive that is that is done that uh, became the provisory to definitive concess and definitive like the kid decided I want that's it so how do you get that they will say if the kid has capacity mental capacity and or age and uh, after two years of that uh, provisory naturalization, they will check if the kid is already on the age to decide, and if so, they will check if the the kid made any crime during that those years. If it everything is okay, they will get it. the police will send to the it will make it the it was sent to the Minister of Justice. Before that, they will make the biometry that is checked the fingerprints. They sent to the Minister of Justice. Then the Minister of Justice will send, will give the decision and publish the decision on the the union, the official diary. If the decision on the union diary will be deferimento, deferimento means was allowed the naturalization. If in deferimento, say was not allowed, you have 10 days to complain with a lawyer. You, the lawyer will make a recurso, means resource, something, 
then analyze the decision and the publish with the decision in the diary. In the diary, they will say if they deferimento or indeferimento, and you can complain, complain, complain until it get to highest level, and that's it. Stop it. Done. Okay. <laughs> so, and after talking that a lot, you might be tired of trying to know how to buy a, a housing price, but it. You don't need to be Brazilian to buy a house in Brazil. I'm saying it's a way that will give you more places to buy. Like, as Brazilian, you can buy land near the ocean. As foreigner, you cannot buy land near the ocean. As Brazilian, you can buy a land as big as you want. As a foreigner, you cannot buy a land as big as you want. A uh, rural area has to be a quarter of the size of the city, the maximum you can buy. You can buy less, a little one, a little land like 50 meters, okay. But that land cannot, even if your family get together and one by one buy the land, everybody together cannot be more than four, uh, a quarter of a, uh, uh, otherwise everyone will buy to, will have to buy 10% until that limit. Okay, for example, Masayo, the city where I was born, Maceió, this wonderful place, Maceió, that beautiful place at the, where I was born, and I grew up there, that's Maceió, Maceió, that the flag. So if you decide to buy a place, a land in Masayo, you cannot buy here next to the ocean. No place here you can buy. Okay, you can live with the other people in that place, but you cannot buy that place. Your wife, if she is Brazilian, or your husband, if he is Brazilian, he can buy. But you cannot buy a land near the ocean at all. Okay? That's why I say naturalization can be the way. Your kid can have, your wife can have, but you cannot have a place next to the ocean. You cannot have, as foreigner, you cannot have a land near the border. Okay, which border? And that law has here on the law 45709 that says the foreigner resident in Brazil is uh, authorized the function uh, to work uh, at the other person or the let me translate that. That was not me who passed that line here, it was the government because the law doesn't exist anymore. So it says, I made it known that the National Congress decrees the intensification of the following. Foreigners resi residing country, in the country and the foreigners legal entities authorities to operate in Brazil may only acquire rural property in the manner provided for 
in this law. How is the law? You can buy a quarter of uh, the size of the city. I forgot to say what's the size of Maceo. Maceo is 511 kilometers square. That is, what's kilometers square? To people who doesn't work with the square, is 197 square miles. Okay, so it's the size of Maceo. Why? Why? That's so. Here is Brazil, okay? So Brazil has that line of ocean. Nobody who is foreigner can buy this line here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Okay, I don't know if you can see or my picture on the middle. So you cannot buy, let me show. So if you are foreigner, you cannot buy the line around here at all. No land in that line. Here, or here, that's the limit of Brazil, you cannot buy land in the limit of Brazil, you cannot also buy, you cannot buy, neither, neither buy bigger than the city or you cannot buy all the city or 50% of the city. Okay, you can only buy a quarter of the city. I don't know how much a quarter means. 25% of the city. That's good, eh? So how much is 25% of the city? So let me see the calculator. I know I talked a lot already. The city of Marseille, I'm speaking about uh, as an example, but you can use another example. But you have to know the size of the place. Don't trust when someone tries to sell you that because the person will get your money and they run away. So it's good to know the law. So, Maceo is 511 square feet. Let me make it. So, 511 let's, square feet. So, 25%. So, 25% is 12775. So you and your family can only buy a land as big as 125.75 square feet. Uh, it's, sorry, kilometers. It's kilometers square. This no, is not square feet. Kilometer is square. In square feet, in square miles square miles you have a 197 minus 25% 49.25 square miles that you can buy from Maceo Alagoas Brazil okay there is other cities that are really small so, in rural area, that's what the, the big size you can buy is that and that big. I'm not I'm not saying about the land. I'm saying about the rural area, the biggest area in rural, rural area you can buy is that. But Masaya has a, like a far from the the line of the ocean you have a year right around here 
that the I know is is like a rural area. You can buy here in the middle of Maceo, and you will make money anyways. You don't need to be ne next to the the ocean. You can buy behind, or you can make a big uh, industry. But there is rules, okay? You have to know those rules with before buying things, before trusting and real estate. And what do you need? I forgot to finish it. the document. So what is the document you need? Uh, I didn't finish reading it. Oh. So, however, the Brazilian legal entity in which foreign individuals or legal entities holding a majority of its capital are subject to the regime established by this law in any capacity company and res reside, reside or have headquarters abroad. The restrictions established in this law do not apply to and, and it has that uh, law I, I want to read because it will be a lot of things to read. Cases of legitimate association except for the provision 7. This law, I wanted to look at the provision 7. So you can read, you can use the translator and you read that law for you. I'm not going to read everything because otherwise it will be lots of things. But the you can read that law at those other pages and you will understand because when you buy something, you have to know you are or not allowed to buy. Okay? And you have to follow the rules. And can you raise animals in the city? Well, if you have a land, you have to go to the place called Adeal. Ade, Adeal is in Maceo. Uh, the agriculture ministry and ask them if you can or you cannot have that kind of animal there because some animals you have to register. Okay? For example, I have a, I have a a turkey in, in the in the middle of uh, the urban area. Some neighbors will not like him that, but I can. There is no law against that. Can I have a rooster inside? Because he can. He had We cannot have a rooster in the city. So there is no no problem if uh, of having a rooster at a home. There is here the law. Is it uh, against the law to have a rooster at a home? It's not against the law. It doesn't make any problem to the neighborhood. It's like when a dog barks, you are going to say you don't want a bark, a dog barking. So you cannot complain of a rooster or any animal in the... <laughs> Some people complain of a rooster and that's why I'm talking about. Okay? And not here in, in, in Canada. Here you cannot have a rooster in the city. Can I have a cow in the city? If you have a land, you can have a cow in the city. Can I have a pig in the city? No, you cannot have pig in the city because they smell. Okay? So if you have a, a rooster, if you have a, any animal that makes noises, completely okay. 
but if you have a cow you have to register the cow if you have pigs you cannot have neighbors so um, I have I had problems with uh, I will show uh, a video if I didn't show yet but no you cannot have pigs in the city you can buy a land and you don't make you make the place to put the pigs far from the fence really far so the distance of the the fence can be really far that nobody can complain about your pigs because if you have your neighbors that's it that's it if they complain once that's it so i tell you don't have neighbors if you have pigs don't have neighbors that's what i tell you in Brazil. okay so ending the discussion of what to what do you need to have a land some lawyers will tell you that you can buy a land just with without the registry just the paper just the paper of it selling I say to you don't buy that kind of land land that they don't have a registry you may be paying for something that is illegal you will have problems when they, they when you try to register that land you will be lots of money so I tell you don't buy land that doesn't have a registry Okay, so what's the document you need? If you are a foreigner, you need R N. If you are Brazilian, you need R G. That's ID, registry. If you are, and it doesn't matter if you are foreigner or not, you need CPF. That is a document you get in the federal police that every Brazilian and every foreigner who lives in Brazil has to have because it's where they, it's like the SIM card. They need that number to know if you, are, if you have money, if you are, you have to declare what you, you are getting, the money you are making. You need also proof of address and you need also the comprobation if you are married or not, if you are single or not, it's a birth certificate. If you are buying, buying like a financing by, the, by the, the bank, you need the comprobation of income, proof of income. So that those that document here, those documents here, that those ones, you need it from the seller and the spouse of the seller and the, the person who is by and the spouse of the who is by or common in law. Okay, like you live, you live with a person like a wife or husband so you need that paper that they, their papers too okay because if you get separated the person you have or not the right but they will have to sign saying that you want. even if you got married in the regime of uh, separate separation of assets even though the person has to sign saying that they know you are selling okay the document of the property what's the document of the property the updated registration including real incubants prints incubants certificates that means uh, there is nothing pending on that document whether you get that on the like if there is uh, the city has a financial place 
that gives you that paper. So you go there and they ask. You can have it on the notary office where you get that document. So you you don't really you don't believe in what the person was always selling you, what the person is saying. You have to go and no, you don't pay that before you sell. Don't pay the, the place before you know those documents because it's the proof that the, this place is, is a, a place that you can buy. So the EPTU, that is the tax of the, the, the place, you have to the comprobation that the person is paying the taxes because otherwise you are going to get it something with the tax on top that they were not paid. If it's a condominium, you have to get it from the, the president of the condominium, the decla declaration of the charge that the person paid the document. And you have also to know the last water and the electricity bills to know that the person is not. I once I, my husband and I bought a house. We didn't check that. And I'm Brazilian. We didn't check that. And the person had lots of bills. The person was cheating. They cut the water and they were using the water illegally. And I bought the place and I went to know to transfer to my name. When I got there, they said, You are using the water without permission, so you are going to pay. Like, uh, I went after the woman and the, the couple and they vanished in the world. I couldn't find it. So that's what I'm telling you. Okay, it happens everywhere in the world. So I'm telling you, be smart. Okay, don't trust in beautiful face and gentle people. They like to be gentle. Doesn't matter. Sometimes a person is saying the truth and sometimes they are not, but you cannot trust. Okay, so the best way is to look on the proper places to know. Okay, be smart. There is Google, there is technology to know everything. Okay, let me see what was that that I opened. So the Statute of the Foreigner is the document you know everything about what you can know, what you can do, what you cannot do. It's in Portuguese, you are unfortunately, but you can use the translation in Google and the that's it, okay? If you want to live in Brazil. And do you need to be living in Brazil to have a property in Brazil? No, you don't need. I tell you that you should at least go there and look the land. Because once the guy said he bought it and it was real estate, he went to buy a property. And he went there to the property at night. He couldn't see anything ahead from ahead his nose nothing he couldn't see nothing and then even though he decided he went there and bought the land like he went against the law he didn't ask the guy the papers he bought it in the notary office he went there and he said yeah that land is fine that's it and the next day when he went there there was the sewer was going to was being thrown there. It was the city sewer the guy saw to him. So be, be careful. Okay, don't go at night. Go with your car. Don't go with a person. Go, go with someone else. Okay, don't trust just because the person is real estate. And what what site can you know? You can go to real estate of the city, and you can also open eggs. You can go to newspaper, for example. So you can. The handle means land.
to you can go tenos you can go so this when you go, go tenos you say a, a, a piece of place a empty play land you can go sitios sitios means uh, like a farmstead for example and you can go to farm but farm is more expensive let's see so before a long ago i knew that a, a cheap place to buy because it was too hot and there was talking things but i don't know nowadays so you have those places lots of places to buy land or house knowing what i told you if the person tell you the document they have is compra e venda buy and sell the documents don't go there if they if the person tell you how oh, everybody buy like that and you have, will have a headache don't go there so look at the how i don't know how someone is selling that uh, house at 480s I shouldn't be showing uh, sorry anyways you can look around you can use the translation of the page and there is also those uh, and this one I'm showing is uh, I don't believe that place is at the price, price. Not really. You can go, uh, can go to a, uh, I'd say, real estate and do. you can Remax Brazil. But if you go to buy from the proper, the person who is selling is better than you go to Remax. There is all other places to buy. In Brazil, that Remax was founded in 2009. They are not that uh, long in Brazil. There is other places you can go that, that longer in Brazil. You see? You can go in Alagoas and the look. And they are even in the Amazon. So that's it. Uh, you can look around and they follow the tips I told you. And that's it, okay? Thanks for watching. He says bye bye. Any question you can ask. And uh, I will feel good. I will feel happy answering your questions, okay? Thanks for watching. May God bless and protect you. And they buy things in the uh, in hell that's cheaper than you buy converting to dollar. Okay. So that's it. Oh, the the salary in Brazil is one three hundred. So you shouldn't try to work. In Brazil, you can work with the day salary from abroad, abroad. That is better. So work from home, remotely, is better. So that's it. Thanks for watching. May God bless and protect you. Big kisses. Bye bye.